Ranian fans here tonight. Uh, my name is Alan Day. I'm the uh, uh, curator of this uh, gallery, Atelier Art Space. Today is a very uh, big day for Anahita. It's actually her uh, first major solo in Malaysia after uh, living in Malaysia for seven and a half years. So she's a very meticulous person, um, almost a perfectionist. When we started the uh, planning this exhibition, um, she actually wanted to paint all the walls uh, fresh again. <laughs> and we gladly chose this wall as her masterpiece. Uh, it's like an installation uh, of her artwork as well as her um, artist, uh, artistic inspiration. Uh, she's from Iran. And I did Google up some uh, interesting facts about Iran. Uh, Iran is actually the fourth um, uh, country in Asia which has the most UNESCO heritage site. So that can tell us that Iran is a very is a country that is rich with uh, culture and history. And um, the ancient name of Iran is actually Persia. So Persia dates back to so many years, thousand years ago, when Persia had actually a historic tie with the East as well, from with China and the trades in India. So we can. Um, and her background as a her dad, father as an archaeologist also can give her some uh, inspiration as an artist today. You know, I, I like Anaita's work. I think that's why I'm here. <laughs> and I think uh, everyone, me, you and all of us, we always have some reason that uh, you know, um, make it make someone or something pleasure to us. And some people believe that uh, we're always looking and searching for some reason to justify why I like someone or something. That makes me sit and think about this pleasure feeling that I have about her words. So let me read it to I know Anavika for almost seven years. I know her from those years when she couldn't enjoy the mixture of feeling that most artists face after the immigration. Immigration is not an easy journey for artists. Uh, Immigration is not an easy journey for artists who used to be inspired by their own environment. We know that some artists never can survive this transition. It's a risky journey like a plant which may not find a way to root out in another plant. She came to Malaysia with full hand of works that she's done in Iran, but she was stuck and I clearly remember the pain she went through. I remember her perplexity and anxiety in coffee cups and hours of walking. And now I'm happy to see the fruits of few years thinking and searching. Anahita, our uh, lovely immigrated plant, is survived. Those who know Anahita and her personality know how honest are these awards. Days that you see lots of nonsense, pretentious artworks around, I found her painting so humble, just like herself. Her works are not a tribune to teach us about the world. She does not use the art to shout out her misty and biggest feelings and thoughts. Instead, she offers us a seat to sit and fly our imagi imagination. She gives us an opportunity to resuscitate our dreams, and I think this is one of the forgotten classic rules of art. I love walking among these empty rooms and find my own stories in each and every of them. She gives me the room to fantasize and create my own story. The story of two lovers who had their last kiss on that sofa. The story of an old father who is waiting for to receive a call from his children. The story of a lonely woman who is reading her favorite novel after 20 years again. I would like to thank the owner of this gallery for organizing this event and ask you for even better works. Like what that Japanese poet said, Anaita is like a snake who can go to the summit of the Fuji mountain. The paintings about the rooms fits in well with this interior space of the gallery. So this interior space was transformed into her, all her rooms imagination uh, for this exhibition. So, um, and also I didn't have any expectation what the, an Iranian artist would be. But uh, to me, I think nowadays we live in a globalized uh, society. Um, it crosses cross borders, everything cross borders, and arts also speak beyond language, speak beyond culture. So it's, uh, it's good to, to have her uh, here. Uh, we're really uh, we're very happy for, for her as well. Uh, I think it's
is one exhibition that uh, gels in through the uh, interior space of the, uh, the gallery. So never had uh, I have uh, any exhibition where the space itself is part of the uh, it's like singing with her artwork so so well yeah. That's why the idea about the room installation came about that uh, showcases like the room, the painting, and the ideas. This show will be on for two weeks and uh, we will open daily for our guests. So please welcome uh, to Mr. Yeah. 